Hello everyone, welcome to the SharePoint Page Transformation webcast. My name is Bert Janssen, I'm a senior service engineer in, in the SharePoint and OneDrive uh, organization. In this uh, webcast, I'm going to show you the basics of page transformation using PNP PowerShell. So before we can do that, we need to get set up. So the one address to remember when it comes to PNP PowerShell, it's ak.ms slash spnp PowerShell. So if you go over there, uh, you will find instructions to install uh, PNP PowerShell on your Windows 10 machine. So if you have Windows 10 or when you have PowerShell get installed, uh, installing PNP PowerShell is as simple as uh, using the install dash module SharePoint PNP PowerShell online commandlet and boom, you have PNP PowerShell installed in your, uh, on your machine. If you ever do not have a Windows 10 machine uh, or don't have PowerShell get, you can still download the MSI um, and install that one. So the classic uh, old school uh, setup. So with uh, PP PowerShell installed, let's immediately jump into a demo. So in this demo, we are going to show the basics of page transformation using PP PowerShell. Uh, we'll show an in-place page transformation. We'll show how to do page name swapping. And finally, we show how to uh, get the page accept banner popping up on your page. All right, so let's move to our PowerShell window and let's connect to uh, a site. So I'm going to connect to this uh, page transformation demo site. And I use the minus SPO management shell uh, option, which gives me a, a prompt to sign in. And this prompt is, is two factor authentication safe, uh, so it works in all cases. So I think there's a recommended approach uh, to signing in in PowerShell. So I'm going to add my account and my password. And then I'm signed in. All right, first step done. Now, before we actually transform a page, let's have a look at our source. So I'm going to switch to my uh, browser. And here we have our site, the page transformation demo site. And let me actually make it a little bit larger like this. So we have our site and let's put the page in edit mode. So this is a wiki page containing a header, two columns. Header has some text, a header uh, h1 tag, some formatting. Um, at the left side, you see the image. The right side, you see a table, a table with a, a column span. Um, you see some more text, some formatted text. You see um, a SharePoint framework custom web part on a classic page. You see uh, an embedded uh, PowerPoint view. And finally, you see a basic classic XLT uh, list view web part showing uh, a custom view of a document library. So this is our target page. Or sorry, our source page that we want to convert. So let's stop editing here and let's see how we can, can do this uh, transformation in PowerShell. How, how can we take this page and generate a modern client side page uh, from it? So flipping back to our uh, PowerShell session, we are going to uh, use the convert dash, convert to dash PNP client side uh, commandlet. So convert to dash PNP client side page. Uh, we specify the page name minus identity and then the name d95 underscore specs so the spx and a dash override flag uh, so with the dash override it will kind of if the page already exists it will override it when you do this we will never uh, override the existing page so you're not losing data so in this case we are creating a page with a new name and our page transformation is done you see the, we created a page called uh, uh, migrated underscore d95 underscore specs of ASPX. So let's go back to our Shepard site. Let's go to the pages library. And if everything went well, we should see uh, here uh, a new page. And we do, like migrated underscore d95 specs is there. So let's open up this page, bring the page in edit mode. And you'll see we'll have a similar page than the classic uh, wiki page where we started from. So we have our first uh, section with the header information, some formatted text. Here we see our text, our image, our table, 
notice that the table uh, column span is undo undone actually because we don't support column and row spans in modern tables. But the same formatting is kept, the colors, the, the bold, etc. Um, you see some more formatted text being taken over. The SharePoint framework web part, which was on the source page, is also on the target page, so we can take over those custom web parts. You see the image, uh, the, the, the PowerPoint view over here. Uh, and finally, you see um, the document library showing the same custom view than uh, previously. So this all looks fairly good. So let's discard the changes over here and let's uh, show our next uh, demo. So now we did kind of create a page with a new name. So the, the modern page had the name migrate underscore. Now what if you would like to create your modern page immediately with the same name as the old page? And that's what you can do uh, using the minus take source page name uh, parameter. And when you do that, um, the original page gets renamed to old underscore. So let's see how this works. So I'm going to uh, use this commandlet, convert to dash PNP client set page, minus identity D88 story, which is a new page, uh, same override. This time I'm adding the minus take source page name. So when I hit enter right now, um, we do the same uh, page transformation uh, technology, um, but this time the created page has the same name as the original page. So you see it's called d88 underscore story.aspx. Now let's have a look at the pages library, what that actually means. So if we have d88 underscore story, and if I open that one, you will see that it is a modern version of this page. As you see over here, this is like a nice modern page. The original page, however, is still there and it's named previous underscore D88 underscore story. So if you open up this one, put the page in edit mode, you clearly see that this is a classic wiki, uh, even a classic web part page, it's not even a wiki page in this case. Uh, but the point is that this page stayed there and got renamed. So using the minus take source page name, you can automatically uh, uh, give your end users the modern version of a page uh, while still having the um, classic page as a backup available. The final part of this uh, demo is uh, using the page accept uh, banner solution. So let me uh, add a new uh, command line. So convert to a dash to client page. We're going to convert the same D95 page that we did previously, but this time we use the minus add page accept banner. And if we do that, um, the, we generate the page using a new name. So the page will be migrate underscore D95 underscore specs, but that page will have a, a banner on top of it that allows an end user to either uh, keep or discard the page. So if I go to my migrate D95 specs page, you will see that there is this banner here, which has a keep this page and a discard this page option. If you click discard this page, the page gets deleted. If you click keep this page, uh, we'll do the, the same page name swap as you saw in the previous command where we used the take source page name. So essentially, this banner allows your end users to decide whether they want to keep the modern page or not. With that, uh, let's go back to the slides over here. Uh, we cover these things in the demo, that's all good. So to wrap up, um, here are some resources. Everything for page transformation is documented under ak.ms slash sppnp dash page transformation. Using PowerShell uh, is the easiest approach to consume page transformation. So uh, grab PNP PowerShell from sppnp dash PowerShell. Page transformation is open source. So if you go to the github.com slash SharePoint organization, you will find an sp dash dev dash modernization repository containing all the source code. Feel free to use it in whatever manner that you want. Feel free to contribute as well. And finally, there's an issue list. So if you encounter uh, something strange, you get a bug, uh, you have a, a change request, please create an issue in our issue list uh, so we can uh, keep track of that. Uh, thank you.